Well, you learn something new every day. Now, when I bought this tractor, I noticed it had disc brakes on it. It's a straight M 1951. And I thought, well, that should have band brakes on it, but I just figured somebody swapped like Super M brakes onto it or something. Never thought nothing of it. Well, they have never have been very good, so I went and I got new brake discs for it. And there's two brake discs aside for a total of four. And I got this side off. And, well, then I had my new brake discs, and I'm like, something's different here, because they have a 12-spline, 6.5-inch outer diameter. Mine are a 24-spline, 6-inch outer diameter. And according to the shop book, or uh, the parts book I got, there never was a brake like this on an M, and I returned, went back with the M brake discs that I bought, said they don't fit, and threw one of these on the counter. And the guy kind of looked at me and said, that came from an M? And I says, yes. Well, long story short, it turns out this has a Lambert disc brake conversion, which is slightly different than an IH brake conversion. The Lambert brakes only have three bolts that hold the cover on, whereas the IH brakes have, I believe, six. And the IH brakes, again, have a six and a half inch outer diameter instead of a six inch, and it's a lot smaller. This is a two and a half inch circle, and they're only a two inch circle with 12 splines, I believe. Well, anyway, how these guys work, they work basically the same as an IH brake, but they're just slightly different. Here's two halves of the center actuator, and there's two little springs that hold that on each side. Inside there's these four balls that are on these kind of oblonged holes. So when you step on the brake pedal, it pulls up on this rod, which then pulls it up those ramps and expands them so they squeeze the two brake discs between each side of this and the housing. Well, some they, they're, they're very trouble prone, I'll leave it at that. First thing, you got to make sure all the balls are round, because if they're oblong, then they won't work very well. you got to make sure these divots, the ramps per se, are completely smooth, because if there's a spot war in them from them stopping in the same spot every time, then you'll, it'll want to stop there all the time, and they won't expand all the way to make up for wear. And if you ever have a situation where you step on the brakes, and they don't let go as soon as you take your foot off the pedal, it's because these little springs right here that return it, that go on the side, are shot and need to get replaced. So, anyway, these brakes, these discs, are still available through case. However, they're $120 a disc, which means it'd be pretty near $500 for all new discs. And these weren't wore out. They were just glazed real bad. So, I just tried deglazing them by putting one under each palm and running down the blacktop road turning them <laughs> and rubbing them along the pavement to roughen them up. So I'm just going to try putting them back in and see if they last. And I, you got to make sure that there's no little dam left at the end of the here so they actually can vent and the where dirt dust can be evacuated. But that's a little bit on the, the Lambert brakes, which are on some of the old M's out there, and H's. They were designed for basically heavy plowing applications where you got to ride one brake quite a bit, and they were supposed to last longer, run cooler, work better than the original band brakes. That's a matter of opinion. But considering the story I got when I bought this tractor is that it originally came from Iowa, I find that a pretty believable story. So I'm going to put it back together and see if that brake works now that I roughened up the discs. Now, this guy, first thing, put a disc in. Now this expander goes in with the rod going out the hole. Well, okay, this kind of conical shaped spring goes on here. 
but I'm going to leave that off because I need both hands to put it in with that on it. But then this slips in here, and when this expands, it needs to slide right there, right there, and right there. So that should be cleaned up and smooth. If that's real rusty, then it's going to want to bind and they won't turn like they should to expand. Well, that works so far. I took it out on the road. I can lock it right up on blacktop. May not look like a million bucks, but it runs like it.